This is the second time we've seen these, but the first time they've done this. Two more chapters today, probably getting close to the end of day two. That seems like a convenient place to end the preview chapters. And when it comes to the holidays, convenience is important. Thank you to Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's Butt, Moochie, Chris, Meathy, Corone, Gallant Aegis, the son of James, Lex Arn, Talap, and 42, as well as Dragon Woodshop for sponsoring this video. Cool stuff, stay tuned. Chapter 29, Shalon waits for the anti-light to dissipate in order to prevent, uh, painting the room red. I had I hadn't considered that her acquired outfit would be from off-world, but Scadriel has cattle, which provide thicker and usually more durable leather than pig. Seems like there's still a secret Shallan's hiding about the first time she used the Surge of Transportation. The Ghostblood Trio are already on their way to Urethiru. That's how you build an exploding chamber pot. Yep, that's lift. Dalinar specifically barred her from sneaking into the planning sesh to transfer leadership of the tower. With the awakening of the sibling, Windle can appear to anyone now. Sigzel walks by, and Lyft has a crush! Or maybe she's just becoming a horny teenager. And Wendell's right. Zahel is not a role model, even if he has interesting words and shit. No one had seen him since the attack on the tower. Implied promise of an answer in that respect, Brandon? I'm so glad that Lyft is spending time with Gavinor. Boy's been through some shit stuff. And while she's no therapist, sometimes the best thing is just having someone there, even when they don't talk but definitely when they do. That poor kid. This hasn't dissipated my worries about him. Besides, not a lot of money in revenge. Interesting that Lyft can see the manifestation of the sibling when no one else can. Has it talked about her seeing other Spren before, like a horn eater? Or is it just a, we're both really connected to cultivation type of thing? People with specific life sense can feel germs. Ew. She gives Windle the secret handshake. He may be a druff, but he sticks around, and that's something. Hey, if you come up and give me the secret handshake at Dragonsteel, I'll give you a sticker. Come visit. The whole promise of Dalinar playing swords with Gavinor is going to culminate in an actual combat, like of champions. To make sure you don't have a world-ending battle on your hands come the holidays, get your Dadlinar or Momvani something they're sure to love from Dragon Woodshop. Beautiful handcrafted displays, sure to please the black thorniest of gem hearts. Plus, they got some incredible deals coming up. Chapter 30, Renarin with a new chapter symbol. I think his last one was just the colon glyph pair. We've seen this quote from Way of Kings before. It's quoted by Dalinar in Words of Radiance, chapter 67, which is when the altered transcripts of Dalinar's visions go out. Renarin's feeling of things being too easy in the tower makes sense. I've heard the same complaint about the entirety of the magic system in Stormlight. We get a bunch of interesting info about indigenous plants, though. I've never considered that plants would have to be pollinated by Kremlings, but Duh! Dregi recognizes Renarin as a gaby. I think it's better to think of everyone as people. Human, listener, spren, all people. Even if some of them glow and are annoying. He makes a good point that nobody is normal. Normal doesn't exist. If you try and force yourself into normal rather than embracing your own eccentricity, you're just becoming a different kind of abnormal. The miserable kind. Which, while certainly not normal, is unfortunately common. Relaine feels like himself now, regardless of form. He notices the shimmering in the air around Renarin, which he is able to see because of the listener's stronger connection to the realms. Getting closer allows him to actually enter it, much to Renarin's delight. Now, he's not alone. They inspect the vision windows, remembering that truth is just the lie that happens. The first is of Renarin in Singer clothing, sitting on a throne in his room in Kolinar, which probably doesn't exist at this point. The visions appear because of swells in the rhythms of Roshar. Currents and old gods will watch. The listeners predate the shattering, which we already knew. Next up is a big storm, interpreted by Relaine as the Everstorm, but probably something else. The wind warned us at the very beginning. Renarin tries to hum a rhythm with Relaine. Cute. Then, the vision where Dalinar found out officially that honor is dead with the destruction of Kolinar. Then, a field in Shinovar with twelve figures, human in shape, of varying ethnicities. One of them with blue skin, bluer than an Atan. I assume that's going to be Syl. And then the final one, a very active representation of Ba'ad Omishram breaking free. <laughs> 
Shalon arrives, wearing a combination of veils and her stolen Malwish clothes. She's off to confront Dalinar about retrieving Mishram. And we get official art of a Takama! Now we know what Dalinar has displayed in his room. And if there's anything you need to display, check out Dragon Woodshop during Dragon Discount Days. Running December 4th through 8th, you can save 5% on all Dragon Woodshop swag, 10% on all displays, 15% on all pins, stickers, and prints, and free shipping on any USA order over $75. Plus, exclusive to my viewers, you can save an additional 5% on anything you want by using the code SHAFO. That's up to 20% off with free shipping. Go support small business and shop and find out.